And then Mr. Livingston. Here. And I'm Joe Cowan. All right. Good evening, everybody. Um, do Joe, do we have anybody for comments or or this evening? Uh, no one uh, sent anything in advance. Okay. All right. All right, then. Shall we look at the meetings or approval of the meetings? Um, are these corrected? Are these okay with everybody? Any comments or questions? All right. I, I move, make a motion that we adopt the minutes as written. Okay. All in favor? <clears throat> I, I need a second. Oh, I need a second. I'll, I'll second it. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? All right. Motion passes. Now, here's the interesting part, new businesses. Now, number one, the number one item is a confirmation by commission members to return to in-person meetings, similar to what the council is doing um, this point forward. Anybody have any questions or comments in regards to going back to meeting in person in the borough building following COVID-19 restrictions. Any comment? Our, our first meeting would be June then. Correct. Thank it you. allows Joe to publish uh, the public notice and then we could have it in June. All right. No, no concern here, Justine, I'm in support. Okay, all right. Justine, this is Joe. Uh, yeah. Just to add, uh, the, the council starting at our June meeting will be in person and on Zoom. So we're going to be in council chambers, uh, but the meeting will still uh, be streamed on Zoom. So if those who feel comfortable staying at home can sign in or participate that way. So <laughs> it, it will be both. Okay. All right. So the public is welcome to attend in person and on Zoom. Okay, good. Perfect. All right. Motion to approve. I'll make a motion. I second. All right. Motion passes. The second item up for business tonight is the comprehensive plans. Now, question for the committee members is how does Joe and I and Dale had an informal meeting this afternoon with Joe? And we were discussing the parameters in which we would um, like to, not like to see, but we just discussed the, all the options. Now, the question that, one of the questions is, do you all as committee members feel as if we should remain committed to the six vendors that, that um, responded to the proposal? What Justin, I don't understand what you mean. Like, okay, remember when we had the co-committee meeting with the with the council, all right. right? And the comment at the end was made that we should probably interview all six. Yes. Okay. Rather than narrowing it down to what we felt were the four most amenable to the yeah. project. All right. Is everybody still committed to the six or can we narrow it down? Okay. I didn't know if you wanted to like open it up to other people as well. No, <laughs> no, no. I was like, okay, no. <laughs> I guess I've, uh, Justine, if I can, I'd, I'd stop shy of just giving a yes, no to that question and maybe give a, a thought related. And I saw the agenda item talking about, you know, the way we want to move forward with evaluation. Mm -hmm. There might be a, an interim approach here where, I know we've developed a series of questions. Um, you know, we might we might issue those questions and ask for specific input to those questions. Okay. We give we whatever. Okay. We use that collectively with their general RFP response, which really wasn't an RFP response. It was it was a kind of a promo of here's who we are as an org. Not right. at all, right? right? But with those two things together, would that give us enough to narrow it down to three? I think, you know, no, no heartburn either way. I like the idea of kind of letting three rise to the top and really giving them time to evaluate top three as opposed to 
six might have the potential of getting kind of convoluted and wait, who do we hear from first? Um, right. but I just, I thought about that as maybe an interim, you know, have them put some formal thoughts on paper for us specific to questions from Bridgeville, as opposed to just a general, here's who we are and you should be excited and trust us. Right. And with that, together with the presentation, would that give us enough to get a comfort level with here's the, here's the top two, three. All right. Any other comments, questions from other members? I mean, That's I think fair. it's a great idea. But Justine and Tim, do you foresee like I, I issue a letter to all the six with the six, whatever number of questions we have, give them so many times to respond and then we share those responses with the group, then that gets it down to the three. Is that how you're recommending we shortlist this? I would, and without getting too complicated, I think we just come up with. Uh, and this is this is other RFPs that I've I've helped facilitate. You score those answers, right? And it gives you a very empirical way of then looking across whoever's participating on that committee and saying, we ask them about what is their intended approach to incorporate wider community input. That should be more than a couple of sentence answer. And on a one through five, how did this score versus the other people's score? It just it gives a a good way to kind of quantify. Hey, we think they really nailed this answer. And if there's a dozen of them or so, a really good representative set, just a week or whatever through those, it's a little bit of homework, right? But it, it may just limit the amount of presentations we have to hear from people who may not really be contenders at the end of the right. day. Right, right. Yeah, you could, yeah, you could absolutely do that. It'd be one through six, if you have six uh, applications, and then you can just score them accordingly, whoever has high, yeah. high scores. Yep. We were talking this afternoon about what great data analyzer you are there, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say this too. You know, if you do that and say, we, you know, we do six, you know, we have six people and four of them are lumped together and two of them are way, you know, they really separate themselves at the bottom, then we can easily do, we can adapt it and do four. Right. You know, Whatever yeah, we want, yeah, yeah. but it's it a great way to get a, a start and see where everybody lines up. Okay. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a couple of different goals there, right? It's tries to keep things objective. Like we gets beyond just the ambiguity of I like them, I didn't like them. And it also, you know, selfishly saves some time if we just think like this is not really sure. worth the entire evening of our summer to. Right. Say, say, Tim. Yeah. Would you be willing to help us and put together some sort of quantification system for this, like you did with with the um, the 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 earlier uh, comp plan stuff? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. I'm happy to. It, it's not overly complex. Yep. It is to us. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's that's less of a shot at you guys, more of like a comfort, hopefully, that I'm not signing us up for some sort of rigorous exercise. It, it just gets things out of minds and on the paper. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, right. And I, I think you did a really good job with that, with the stuff that we talked about last year. And I, I to me, that, you know, I, that really helped be able to identify stuff and, and put a number or some sort of quantification with it. And in the end, it just helped kind of sort things out. Yeah. It was a, it was a really good good thing you did. Yeah, Perfect. I appreciate that. And maybe it makes sense, Joe. I know you sent out <clears throat> after your last meeting kind of an all call for additional questions. Maybe we, we double down on that and give it another day or two as kind of a takeaway from this meeting and say, like, if, if we go this route, we want to give a pretty robust kind of set of questions for people to respond to. So there really is an opportunity for people to differentiate themselves. So uh, maybe that's just a request for shaking the tree. Any is worth asking and having them put some prep time and, and thought into in advance. I think any and all questions are fair game. So then we would have um, the questions out and the responses back by to us by the J June meeting or July meeting. I, yeah, I would think if we got questions out, what are we sitting at here at the end of the month? If we got questions out, uh, you know, beginning of June, a week and a half, whatever it is, I don't think it's unrealistic to ask those back inside of two weeks latest. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. 
Joe, what do you, Joe, would you have any issues with, with um, sending out the letters to the vendors? Not at all. I, I think this is wonderful. So uh, okay. I'll get with Tim and then the rest of the committee this week so that we could have this out uh, hopefully by Friday. I think that'd be a good goal. Okay. Perfect. Good. All right. I, do I need a motion? No. I don't think you have a no motion for that. Okay. All right. Now, which moves me into this active Allegheny grant. Okay. The active Allegheny grant has been funded. The pro request for proposal were sent out, um, and we should be getting the responses to the to the RFP by the end of May, which is within the next week or so. All right. It's anticipated, Joe said this afternoon, that he would gather each proposal and provide it to us as committee members. Question is, now that we have already moved the comprehensive plan of a month forward, all right? The question is, is that what do you think about moving the proposal to, move, to get the active Allegheny grant the review proposals reviewed, the interviews accepted, inter interview people interviewed along with an, uh, a vendor selected sooner rather than later. I think that um, with the funding and, and stuff already in place for that, for the active, active transportation, I think we need to move on that. Um, and get that done sooner. Um, you know, we're Joe wrote a grant for the comp plan, which he won't we won't know anything about till what September, August, September. That's what they told me. Correct. Okay. So you, you know, let's where we've already got the money and stuff set for the active transportation. Let's get that moving and, and move forward with that. And you know we can we can work through the interview process with the um, comp plan vendors after we get the the active transportation done. It's, that's my thought. Uh, just to bridge on what Joe and Justine said, uh, the RFP the proposals were due last week at the end of last week. I, I received four proposals. Uh, I've yet to go through them. Uh, tomorrow, I'll, I'll get them all separated and get them out to the committee members so that we can start the selection process. Uh, I think Bridget on what Dale and Justine were saying, uh, the funding is in place, uh, everything's secured, we're ready to go on that aspect. Uh, it would be ideal that June or July, <laughs> we could have selection completed and a recommendation for council at our July meeting at the latest. Uh, on who to award contract who said we can get this project started uh, this summer. Joe, so anticipate something this week uh, with a packet to your house. I have a question for you. Would this, the information that we get from this Act of Allegheny, um, will that be applicable at all to a comprehensive plan? I mean, will that information gathered be I don't know, potentially informative to the whoever we uh, give the uh, award the program to? I would think so. It overlaps a little bit. Right, right. Okay. All right. And it, it's interesting enough, <clears throat> I saw on the envelopes, uh, some of the firms that we're talking about interviewing for the comp plan put in for the active transportation plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, okay. So would they piggyback? So if, if let's hypothetically say that one of those one of those firms um, was awarded both, they would piggyback it on on each other. Is timeline is deadline as far as getting the active transportation stuff done first? I mean, it, it, I'm not asking. No, that that would be done first. Okay. And, and you'll see within the proposals. Uh, uh, proposed timely uh, lines for the project. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so any other comments? Any comments from the council members that are on, on the call?
All right. Okay. Because obviously we're going to be using the members from the planning committee and join with council in our co-meetings for the active Allegheny grant also, correct? That's my impression of it as well. Okay. All right. All right. Any other comments, questions? Um, now, the other thing is too, is that if we can, if it is, it's decided to narrow the uh, vendors down for the comprehensive plan. Is there, what type of schedule would you all like to see? Um, I mean, can we go to two a month or can we do say three or four interviews in a one day period? It's um, just yeah, I don't, I don't want to go to a month. Let's let's get them. We, let's knock them out quick is, is, you know, a lot faster than we than we can, you know. OK. Uh, you know, if we do two a month, say if we had to do all six for some reason, you know, you're three months down the road. Mm -hmm. And right. there's, if we can get them, keep everybody's fresh, keep them fresh in our, you know, what we talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a lot better. Mm -hmm. We can find time. Yeah. So I, Every, I mean, with the hot, with the summer and everybody on vacation and that. So you, everybody would well, just say everybody would be willing to take if we do six would take two days to do three and three. Whatever it takes. I don't know. I guess so. If we go through Tim's exercise, essentially we're shortlisting it. That's the right. Right. for a reason to Tim's. So right. if we shortlist it, there's no reason why we don't dedicate one day and just do the short okay. list and get it done with. Okay. That's what I would like to see. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with that. I'd, I'd hope that, you know, worst case, we come out of there with maybe four potentials. And even if we do two and two, I, I'm with Mike. I'd say let's let's schedule them. Okay. That means, you know, two additional nights in a month in addition to our regular meeting. Okay, so be it. It's, it's you know, two patients and uh, I'm happy to make the time speaking for me. Okay. All right. Perfect. So... Anything else? All right, so in summary, let's just say, we are all agreeable on in-person meetings. So that's a go with in-person and Zoom meetings, similar to what the council is doing this point for June, correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. Secondly is we all agree that the active Allegheny project will move forward quicker and so that we will have hopefully the opportunity to award the vendor in July. And Joe Correct. will get us those proposals soon. This week. This week. Did I hear a comment from somebody or question? Okay. And then third and lastly is that um with the help of Tim once again we will ask questions to the vendors and score those vendors and select you know hopefully winnow it down into three or four vendors correct yes okay and then if we are if we do have the three or four vendors we all agree that it could the interviews could occur in one day. Agree? Agree. Okay. One or two. <clears throat> one or two. Okay. Right. All right. Yeah, I mean, you know, they may be like wet cats too. Okay. Trying to yeah. herd them all together. So now question about this is our initiative. What happens with council? Do what does council need to be made aware of all of these decisions or how does this work, Joe? Uh, I'll make sure they're advised of what's going on tonight. Okay. Uh, from the get go, uh, council established a working group and members of that working group are on this call uh, as we speak. Okay. Uh, there'll be a party and part of the conversation in those meetings. Uh, 
the purpose of the working group is to make a recommendation on who, who gets the, the contract to, to do the work. And then council will award contract when we're ready, uh, when the funding's in place. Okay. All right. All right. So do we need any official um, motions or no? No. I think no. you did it all. Okay. All right. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Council members want to say something outside uh, public that wants to get involved? Well, okay. I make a motion to adjourn. Anybody? Excuse, excuse me. Can oh, I? Oh, I didn't. Oh, uh, excuse oh, me, Justin. You're killing me. <laughs> yes. I, uh, I, I'm sorry. It was so interesting. I. It was so interesting. I didn't oh. want to interrupt at the beginning. If I may speak. Yes, I'm sorry, Bob. I. Sh I, I not no, no. It was, it was my. It was my fault. I apologize. At any rate, uh, you're um, you're on the right track. But just uh, to be brief, when you got when you guys start interviewing uh, the potential uh, city planners, I'd like to know what the first thing is you're going, what the first problem is that you're going to ask them if they can solve for Bridgeville. I essentially, let me put words in your mouth. I want to know if you're going to ask them to solve the 50 year old traffic congestion problem that has been so economically destructive to the town. Why do you care? I didn't hear your comment, Justine. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Um, you know, it, I don't know that we, I personally have not prioritized what I feel is the most um, outstanding. I mean, I've thought about it. I've thought about, you know, flood mitigation as opposed to traffic. And to me, it's, it is, it's sort of a gut reaction um, in that, uh, in that, you know, if there's a similar situation like there was in 2018, then, you know, was it worth selecting a different subject to go first? All right. Um, so excuse, excuse, excuse me. I want to just mention one other thing. Uh, I I hope you uh, can clear your incentives. Uh, better uh, eco the traffic congestion problem on north south washington pike and on east west bar hill road uh is uh, caused the collapse of both business districts baldwin street and washington avenue but i just want to oh, I, I won't keep you any longer but i just want to mention something to you uh it, the city planners uh, every city planning firm in the region has been watched how much where PennDOT and Allegheny County have been widening roads and building uh, wider bridges and so on. And it's been very clear to all of them that PennDOT and the county have been building roads to the Route 19 business district and ignoring the traffic congestion problem on the Washington Pike Quarter specifically. And I, I want to end up by saying this, the two largest employers of city planning, traffic engineering, and hydraulic engineering firms in Western Pennsylvania are PennDOT and Allegheny County. And you better make sure that whoever you pick uh, isn't afraid to defy the established record of the county and the state on w where they want to build roads to and where they don't want to build roads to. And, I, and I'll give you two specific examples. Three years ago, I attended the meeting at uh, I think it was a it was a PennDOT meeting about how they were wanted, wanted to modify the Kerwin Heights, uh, the section of uh, Washington Pike and Kerwin, Kerwin Heights there between the Vadium Road and the Access Roads to mm -hmm. 79. And the subcontractor who designed the plan admitted that he was only concerned with getting traffic east and west from uh, Buffalo Park, Mount Lebanon, Upper St. Clair, to and from 79, with no attention of improving the traffic flow north and south uh, on Washington Pike toward the Collier Township uh, 
shopping you know the shopping centers there and also the public meeting that was mandatory about the seven lane bridge that uh, uh, uh that fortunately the former ceo of PennDOT uh liked that i gave them versus the six foot widening that's proposed for the bridge at the public meeting i went there with drawings to show them the importance of for example continuing four lanes between Bridgeville and Safed and to emphasize putting in a four car left turn stacking lane on Washington Pike to Chartier Street I was prevented from speaking at the meeting okay. so you guys better you guys better uh, I'll end this up by saying you better understand what's going on here uh, you're talking about billions a year in retail uh, commercial sales and services, and uh, you better be prepared for uh, uh, unexpected uh, confrontations. You know, thanks, Bob. I mean, I, I'm <coughs> hoping that, you know, these groups are, are um, able, capable uh, to do two things at once. And I'm sure that they have multiple people that are doing a traffic versus flood mitigation. So, you know, if the projects can move forward in tandem, then we'll be better <laughs> off. And I mean, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I don't mean to be, you guys are on the right track now and with uh, your manager and uh, your en new engineers and so on. <laughs> You're on the right track, but don't allow PennDOT and the county to push you around. <laughs> Demand the most outstanding comprehensive plan you can device for Bridgeville. You aren't okay. going to be paying for it. Okay. All right. Anyway, thanks for your thanks Thank for the time. You, Bob. All right. So there's no old business. <laughs> so I make anybody uh anybody have any other questions? No? I need a motion to approve. Motion to adjourn. Sorry. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Dale? Second. Mike's on mute, but he seconded twice. He's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, second. Back to that hockey game, guys. All right. Well, thank you. And um, Tim, you know, thank you again. We appreciate yeah, no it. problem. Just just to reiterate, uh, questions, any and all, let's get them out there so we got a really good, you know, recording stop.